Hi there! Tonight I'm going to do a tutorial on sewing conductive thread with stretch fabric. Um, you need a flexible stitch to move with the fabric and to do that on a machine generally requires either a zigzag stitch, a chain stitch, um, using a serger. Uh, there's a couple of other stitches you can do. So I tried all of them. I tried um, on my, it's a basic machine, but it's a, it's a good brand, so it's strong. And I put it in the bobbin. And it just crunches up the fabric too much. It doesn't, uh, it's not as, as delicate looking as you'd like. And then once you, once I stretched it and let it go, oh, it didn't look so good. It kind of straightened out and, and didn't go back to the way I wanted it. I tried putting it in um, through the regular needle feed, um, at, you know, just the, the top feed through the needle, and it wasn't very happy. So really the best way is to just hand sew it, and the way you do that is um, a zigzag stitch. So I tried two different ways. I tried doing a ladder stitch and a zigzag stitch. So the ladder stitch is like a horizontal looks like a ladder you know but it actually took up more room on the bottom and sometimes if you're running parallel lines of conductive thread you don't want them touching and so sometimes that's not an option but the zigzag stitch looked pretty nice and um so I'll just do a, a demo here on that. So let's see if I can see this far. If you give the, th the thread um, a fresh cut, you shouldn't have any problem going through even a very small eye like this. This is um, a pretty sharp needle so that I can go through this, um, this knit fabric. So this is the issue. You can, you can you can sew conductive thread on any fabric, but it won't have any stretch. And so a lot of people want to do cute little designs on stretch fabric or jersey. And I'm thinking this is the only way to do it, is just to hand sew it. So I've knotted it just to show that even with both ends knotted, it still has plenty of stretch. So just get it better. So I guess you just go about a um, centimeter apart. It doesn't really matter, whatever your design is. But the zigzag stitch gives you um, about two to three times as much length. You know, there's, there's two to three times more thread in total as compared to the run that you're actually stitching, the length that you're actually stitching. And that's how you're able to get that that flexibility. So it really looks the same on the other side as this, just, just opposite. So if you can find a way to incorporate this into your design, um, these are pretty big, pretty big uh, zigzag stitches. I'm just doing this, I'm doing this for the camera, even though it's not really focusing that well. So, but you can do them smaller, so it's not as obvious. So let me just try to go through this fast, oops, just so I can show you. So I'm trying to think of a cute, cool, um, interesting project to do with jersey fabric. And I think I might just offer some classes for some, some kids around here. And maybe they can um, design their own shirts. They can just do, um, they can just draw on some shirts, draw a design. And then we can incorporate some uh, some LEDs and uh, and just teach kids some basic things about that. So they could just bring in their own their own T-shirt and draw on it, and we'll do some double lines and figure it out that way. All right. So this is let me just go through the back and knot it so you can see that the flexibility isn't because the thread is loose, but Okay, 
that's should suffice enough for now okay so that's pretty messy looking but <laughs> anyways it's um you know generally a zigzag is um a little bit more like a v so these aren't very good but anyways so there's no problem it stretches and it goes back and it looks exactly like it did when i stitched it and that's the key to um stitching on uh, on stretch fabric so like i said you can do it a lot smaller and um, and you'll still get that same stretch because you're you're um putting a lot more thread down than is actual length of the fabric okay well hopes hope this helps in uh, any future project that you do and when i do do that jersey um workshop tutorial i will put it up on video thanks for watching